हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम टू योर फेवरेट चैनल प्रदीप सर क्लासेस एस बी एस सी एंड ए वार्म वेलकम टू दिस सीरीज यू नो दैट दिस इज अ डीपेस्ट कॉन्सेप्ट सीरीज दैट इज द ए सी वर्मा द किंग सीरीज एंड न्यूमेरिकल किंग एंड अनादर सीरीज सीरीज दैट इज आई रोडोफ द क्लासिक टेक्स्ट सीरीज एंड other particular students who are the j and main uh, or neat advanced they can follow that particular two series and i think that if all the concepts of ac verma is completed as well as the erod of concepts then we can solve any one of this book but ha huh, yes it is you have to clear that particular concepts neat and clean and i think that uh, all the numericals that is from electrostatics 1 to 30 all the numericals are uh, cleared with a deepest concept and one by one so uh, you can follow and enjoy all the numericals for today's class uh, i uh, start with a uh, another new concept that is uh, based on electrostatic as well as the differential operator that is the differentiation and what is the relations between the maximum and minima uh, so uh, let's enjoy that particular numericals there is 31 and if you able to clear 31 then you also clear 32 and 33 and that particular two numericals are somehow related with that particular concept but it is except uh, 31 and 32 make um, and 31 is uh, something related with uh, SHM simple harmonic motion that is taken from the 11th standard so uh, let's enjoy the numericals and clear your concepts with the deepest format okay so thank you so students uh, as i know that i completed uh, from i c verma Uh, exercise that is uh, electric field and potential uh, from question number one to thirty uh, up to thirty is completed in the previous lecture. So for today's class, it is a start from thirty one. And uh, the what is the questions? Two particles A and B and each having a charge capital Q and are placed a distance. d apart uh, so two particles n b yes two particles so question is ac verma ac verma ac verma 31 so this is 31 31 and there are two a and um, b two particles particles means two charged particles two charged particle that particular particle is charged that is deficit of electron or excess electron but here the deficit of electron occurs since this is a positive charge so q and q uh, two charges are kept at a separation of d d distance separation so from um, this is d d distance separation okay and where should the next uh, line is where should a particle of charge small q be placed on the perpendicular bisector of ab so that it experiences maximum force so what is the perpendicular bisector and if we cut this one in equal halves then this uh, this line is called perpendicular bisector so this is perpendicular bisector and if we placed the charged particle at this one at the that particular point then the resultant force at that particular point then this that particle uh, given electrostatic repulsion along this direction and this particle also gives an electrostatic repulsion force and the net force of this particle is zero therefore force equal to zero so the force is uh, zero at that particular point but you have to uh, place it at some other point where the force is maximum so if you place it uh, here or if you place it at that uh, infinite infinite distance apart then also the 
फोर्स इज जीरो सो एट इनफाइनाइट डिस्टेंस अब द फोर्स इज जीरो एंड एट दैट पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट इट इज ऑल्सो जीरो तो समहाउ देन समहाउ देर इज ए पॉइंट ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर फ्रॉम जीरो टू इन्फिनिटी देर इज ए पॉइंट एंड फैट द फोर्स इज मैक्सिमम सो लेट्स टेक दिस पॉइंट फ्रॉम दैट पर्टिकुलर वन इज एक्स सपोज एट पॉइंट दिस इज अ पॉइंट सपोज पी इज अ पॉइंट ऑब्जर्वेशन पॉइंट एंड हियर द फोर्स इज मैक्सिमम सो लेट कंसिडर दैट एट लेट एस कंसिडर लेट एस कंसिडर दैट एट पी एट पी द फोर्स इज द फोर्स इज मैक्स Max, maximum. So, what is the force at that particular point? Uh, so, this charge particle given repulsion force along this direction. So, here it is Q. Here it is Q. And that particular one also give a repulsive force along this direction. with the same force so this is f and this is also f and this angle is theta this angle is also theta since it is equatorial line and that particular point is equidistant from that particular two charges so this is theta and this is 90 degree minus theta since it is a right triangle so this is 90 and this also is 90 degree minus theta 90 degree minus theta this is also 90 minus theta so that particular force uh, having a component of If f cos theta along this direction, and along this direction, f sin theta. So f sin theta here. Theta means 90 degree minus theta. And along this direction, along this direction, f cos theta. f cos theta means f cos 90 degree minus theta. So this is f sin theta, and this is f cos theta, and and this force is f so this is f cos 90 minus theta and this force is f so this is also f cos so the total force is 2f cos 90 degree minus theta so the total force the net force acting on that particular f net equal to 2f cos 90 degree minus theta so cos 90 minus theta students sin exactly this is sin theta so 2 into force force is what is the amount of force so this is uh, x and this is from this value is d by 2 since the total distance is d so this is d by 2 and this is x so this is the hypotenuse and we know that x square plus d by 2 whole square that is d square by 4 so force uh, from coulomb's law we know that 1 by 4 pi epsilon not and uh, q capital q by x square that is root over of root over of x square plus root over of x square plus d square x square plus d square by uh, 4 and this is whole square into sin theta what is sin theta so this is theta means perpendicular by hypotenuse so x by perpendicular this is theta so the opposite of this theta is x and this is root over of this one so root over of x square plus d square by 4 so this is equal to 2 q q and uh, x by 4 pi epsilon not into this is a square so root is cancelled and this is root so 1 One plus half, one plus half. That is, x square plus d square by four to hold to the power three by two. Now this is square mean x square plus d square by four, and the root is cancelled since this is square and this is root means half. So one plus half means three by two. So this is the net force acting on that particular. This is the net force, and uh, the question is uh, uh, that. So what uh, where should a particle charge q be placed on the perpendicular bisector of the line ab so that it experiences maximum force what is the magnitude of this maximum force 
so where first of all where means uh, you have to calculate the value of x where should that particular force is maximum suppose the student so for that particular one you have to clear a concept what is the concept suppose this is a line and this is uh, this for that particular curve this is a peak point and this is a minimum point so at that point there is a slope of positive and that is negative slope there is negative slope and at that point point there is a negative slope and there is a positive slope so if, if we take a first order derivative so it, if it is positive then the second order derivative it is negative if it is negative then we can say that this is the maximum point and if uh, the second order derivative is positive then we can say this is the negative yes so somehow uh, means uh, uh, at that peak point the derivative is zero because at that point there is no slope so it is a slope means uh, suppose if we take the derivative of force then df by dx exist exist means there is a slope but at the highest point it is a straight line so df by dx equal to zero at every point it it may be uh, maxima or minima df by dx it doesn't exist this is equal to zero so students uh, take the derivative of this one so df by dx so df by dx equal to uh, this is a 2 q q 2 q q capital q by 4 pi epsilon naught it is a constant value and you have to take the derivative of the function so ddx of x by x square plus d square by 4 whole to the power 3 by 2 sorry it is uh, 3 by 2 yes write down this is x by x square plus d square d square by 4 whole to the power 3 by 2 yes so the derivative is 0 so since 0 equal to uh, since it is a maxima point so df by dx equal to 0 so this is 0 so this is and this is 0 so 0 equal to uh, 2 q x by 4 pi this is also 0 so we can write ddx of that particular one x square by sorry x by x by x square plus d square by 4 whole to the power 3 by 2 and this is uh, the form u by v that is you have to apply quotient rule here so uh, what is the quotient rule v du by dx minus u dv by dx and if the concept is not clear then go to derivative rules for derivative quotient rule divided by v square so this is quotient rule if there is a function dy by dx if y equals to if suppose y equal to uv uv there is the multiplication of two different function then you have to dy by dx equal to ddx of this one or this takes the form so uh, this is x so this is v so v means x square plus x square plus d square by 4 whole to the power 3 by 2 v into ddx of x ddf ddx of x minus x into ddx of this one x into ddx of this one means x square plus d square by 4 whole to the power 3 by 2 by v square v square means x square plus d square by 4 whole to the power 3 by 2 uh, into 2 whole square means into 2 so this is zero since this is zero so don't uh, take that particular zero into something means zero so this is uh, the existing value that is uh, x square plus that is uh, if we write down here there is x square plus d square by 4 whole to the power 3 by 2 into ddx of x means 1 minus x into ddx of this one ddx of 
this one means 3 by 2 and x square plus d square by 4 whole to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 into the differentiation of this function that is 2x and d, x of d square by 4 that is 0 this is so x into derivative uh, of this one uh, means 3 by 2 3 by 2 into ddx of a 3 by 2 minus 1 into ddx of the of, of that particular value divided by uh, this is equal to 0 0 equal to this one because 0 into something is 0 so uh, this is the derivative and uh, if we refresh it then x square plus d square by 4 whole to the power 3 by 2 and this equal to we can write uh, 2 to cancel each other so 3x square 2 to cancel so 3x square into x square plus d square by 4 whole to the 3 by 2 that means 3 minus 1 half so uh, half and half cancel this one so it is x square plus d square by 4 remains this one because uh, x square plus d square by 4 suppose students uh, x to the power of 3 by 2 means now we can write root x whole cube means root x into root x into root x so root x into root x x root x so if root uh, this is x root x so root x and root x cancel and this is x so uh, x square plus d by 4 equal to 3 x square or if x square is uh, given here then it is 2 x square equal to d square by 4 or x square equal to d square by 8 then x equal to d by 2 root 2 x equal to d by 2 root 2 so this is the answer and check the answer check the answer so this is um the question number question number 31 question number 31 so 31 what is 31 31 what is about 31 uh, yes d by 2 root so the answer is uh, correct if you apply that particular concepts then why not it uh, clear and the next uh, one is what is the magnitude of this maximum force and you have to calculate that particular force so uh, what is the magnitude of this one so students uh, here f f net equal to 2 q q x by 4 pi epsilon naught and x square plus d square by 4 whole to the power 3 by 2 and place of x you have to write uh, that particular value that is uh, d by root 2 so uh, that is uh, write down this one so f net force equal to f net equals to 2 small q capital q then x by 4 pi epsilon naught and x square plus d square by 4 whole to the power 3 by 2 so in place of x you have to write d by 2 root 2 so 2 q 2 small q capital q into d by 2 root 2 d by x in place of x you have to write d by 2 root 2 so this is d by uh, 4 pi epsilon naught and 2 root 2 d by 2 root 2 into x square x square means uh, d by 2 root 2 so d square by uh, root over of 8 means 8 um, plus d square by 4 and this is 3 by 2 so 2 qd 2 qd into d by 4 pi epsilon naught 2 root 2 into uh, d sorry sorry d by also this is d square so you can uh, take a common d square and then d square into 3 by 2 into 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4 whole to the power 3 by 2 so 2 small q capital q by 4 pi epsilon naught and then 2 root 2 then this is d cube and this is d this is d and this is 1 by 8 plus and that is 8 if we take lcm of 8 then uh, 1 plus 2 3 3 by 8 whole to the power 3 by 2 and this is uh, d square so 2 qd uh, by d square here 
and the numeric value 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught and it is 2 root 2 and 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught and 2 root 2 and it is 3 by 3 by 8 whole to the power 3 by 2 3 by 8 whole to the power 3 by 2 and calculate students and this one is if we calculate that particular one then uh, qd by 4 by epsilon naught so you can uh, write that particular value uh, since this is a specific value 9 into 10 to the power 9 so 1 by 4 by epsilon naught into qq into qq uh, by d square it is a specific qq by d square 4 by epsilon naught so 2 by this one 2 to cancel each one so 1 by 2 root 2 root 2 into 3 by 8 whole to the power 3 by 2 3 by 8 whole to the power 3 by 2 so root 2 into 3 by 8 and um, this value will be approximate 3.08 so 3.08 this value is 3.08 into 1 by 4 by epsilon naught into q q by d square calculate it root 2 that is 3.14 uh, 1 1.414 and 3 by 8 um, whole to the power 3 by 2 and then you can calculate this is 3.08 into q q by 4 by epsilon naught into d square okay so the that particular uh, max actually this uh, total concepts that particular concepts is only the component division when that particular charge can give a force then it is a cost component and this is also cost component so the total force is this one and this is a total force and you have to clear your concepts about maxima and minima that is at the maximum or minimum point uh, the derivative is zero so you have to take a derivative of this force and this is equal to 0 and you can get the value of x that is d by root 2 and if we place this value at the particular position that is in place of x then we get the maximum force that is uh, that is that is that is a 3.08 1 by 4 5 0 not q q by t square so students uh, uh, you can see that a particular numericals particular numericals uh, if you calculated uh, it it takes 20 minutes 10 or 20 minutes and the next numericals is uh, also the same type it, it also takes uh, 20 minimum 20 minutes so since clear this concepts one and if you clear your concepts then you can uh, do it uh, more uh, you take less time that particular so try uh, to clear at least one or two times each numericals okay and all the numericals are given in this uh, channel producer classes has psc okay so just type producer classes has psc and then uh, type ac verma solutions then we get all the electrostatic solution okay so thank you and for the next class i just and try students try 32 and 33 is very important just a basic concepts is required that is uh, acceleration is proportional to displacement shm what is shm you have to know what is shm when uh, the derivative second order derivative is proportional to displacement and just one uh, the two a and b each carrying q are held fixed at the separation of uh, this distance and if it is displaces through a distance and dx then what is the it is just like the 21 if we displaces that charge at a particular small distance then it execute shm what is the time period of this and why it is under what condition it is execute shm that is the main question so try 31 and 33 and next day i it may be um, tomorrow okay i solve this one 32 and 33 okay then 34 e, e equal to f by q and all the question numericals are like that e equal to f by q that is uh, related with electric field then charge distributions and then potential and all the numericals are related with potential and the next one is uh, for dipole so dipole uh, if you uh, if 
it is not cleared about electric field or dipole then and you can see also the lecture of class 12 electrostatics okay so thank you and meet for the next class okay students.